Good morning, everyone. Chris Moretti here for Tara. I thought I'd pop on here this morning and uh, say hello. I'm in my beautiful sunny backyard in Ontario. It's another steamy day, um, and I thought it might be a nice opportunity to jump on here. Hi, everyone. <laughs> to jump on and uh, share a little project I'm doing with you. Um, many people are of the impression that you know we're past the May long weekend it's too late to plant vegetables nonsense I say and uh, this week we've been talking quite a bit about um, growing vegetables in alternative spaces so you don't necessarily need to have a huge yard or a giant veggie plot in order to grow some of your own food at home so um, at the link in our bio I've got a video up of um, the veg trug, which is a raised garden planter, and uh, my adventure in building and planting one of those. Um, but we can go even smaller scale than that. Growing food at home can be as something as simple as a lettuce bowl or a single plant in a pot. And all of that is a learning experience. It's all valuable and it's all really fun. There's, there are a few things more rewarding than going out into the backyard or onto the balcony to harvest something that you're going to use for dinner. Um, behind me, I've got my own veggie, one of several veggie plots in my backyard and I had my own homegrown spinach in my salad last night and it was a really good feeling so I want to share some of that with you and uh, I was inspired by the heat I'm going to make a salsa planter so I've got this nice big fiber stone pot in front of me that I've got two-thirds full of terra container soil which I've got right in front of me and I'm going to use a combination of plants in this to create a garden that I can harvest in the summer late summer uh, for a garden salsa so I just want to share that that project with you um, I'm going to I'm finishing off the fill somewhat got it I don't know seven eighths full let's say of container soil and then I want to show you the plants I'm going to work with. I've got grape tomato. So um, that's another thing about planting. As we get later into the season, um, the bigger the plants we're planting means the harvest comes sooner. We're basically giving ourselves a head start um, into the harvest season. So I'm starting with a nice big tomato that's already starting to form some flowers up here. It means I'm closer to harvest and closer to some fruit. So I don't know, maybe it's a bit of a cheat, but I'm, I'm all for it. I'm good for it. Um, so I'm going to use a grape tomato. I've got a hot, a sweet hot pepper. Um, I think for salsa, generally, we would usually look at something like jalapeno, which is totally great. Um, but I wanted something a little bit different. So this one's called Time Bomb. It's a, it is a hot pepper. And you can see, actually, this is a four inch pot that I got from Tara. And it's got little baby peppers on it already. So again, I'm kind of fast forwarding that harvest a little bit. So I've got my tomato, my pepper. You can't have salsa without cilantro, right? So I've got my cilantro there. And then of course, onion is another important part. I've gone with a sweet onion in a little cell pack. Will I get onion bulbs in here? Maybe a couple, um, but more so, I can harvest and eat these green tops throughout the season too, um, which I really love doing on salad and that kind of thing. So it'll be kind of an experiment. I've never grown to, uh, onions in a container before, uh, but a beautiful thing about container gardening is that you would really be surprised at how many things turn out well. Let's talk about the container itself. I've got this fiber stone planter. It's a, I don't know, I wanna say maybe 24, 22 inches in diameter. Size matters when it comes to growing vegetables, especially the big guys like tomatoes. So if you want to grow a tomato in a container, you absolutely can, but a couple things to bear in mind. They need a large volume of soil to support their size and the amount of moisture and nutrients they're going to need in order to thrive, uh, flower, and bear fruit. So we want a nice big container for tomatoes. I'm gonna to say maybe 16 inches diameter for a tomato by itself. Then the pepper as well is gonna sort of nestle in beside it, and then my herbs too. So let's talk planting tomatoes. Got a nice healthy root system here. Now, when you plant tomatoes, you can actually bury them fairly deep. And that's something that I recommend doing. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'll hold it up nice and close for you. I'm gonna snap off a bunch of this lower growth. So what I'm doing is I'm allowing the plant to build a, a thicker root system, a more established root system by doing this. You can kind of see, if I go right up close, 
these little bumps on the stem there. Can you see that? Those little bumps are where additional roots are going to grow. So I'm going to basically, I'm telling this plant to focus on the growth that it's got going on up here and not try to worry so much about all this little stuff down here. So I'm popping some of those things off and I'm going to bury it nice and deep, sort of central back of my planter. So I'm going to sit it right here leaving room in the back as well i'm going to need support for this so i have a bamboo stake close at hand that i'm going to use to support my tomato as it grows so my planting depth is going to be right about here so i've got it nice and deep there a little bit lower than you would really think of generally speaking so that's my tomato in place because i know that's deeper than everything else i'm going to top off the soil a little in the remainder okay so i've got him in. I'm going to put my pepper in next. I'm going to set it sort of, I guess, kitty corner from it so that I can nestle something else right in here. The tomato needs room. So most tomatoes, um, this is an indeterminate variety, which means it's going to keep growing and growing and growing and bearing fruit throughout the whole season until it gets killed by frost. So it's gonna get big. So we wanna make sure it has room to thrive. So I don't wanna crowd it too much, although that is my inclination in a container. So I'm gonna set this guy sort of up toward the front. Nice healthy root system. I'm gonna loosen it up just ever so slightly and pop this guy in right here. Excellent. I'm gonna fill in a little bit more because up front here in this big open space is where I'm going to experiment with those onions. We'll just see what happens. I don't think I'm going to put all four in. I'm going to go with my happiness in odd numbers. So I'm going to put three of these plugs in here. Again, I'm going to loosen up a little bit and we'll go one, two, and three little fun fact for you onions are excellent companions to tomatoes uh, anything in the onion family allium garlic uh, are natural pest deterrents and their flowers if they flower uh, are really helpful to attract pollinators which is what we want in order to get fruit on our on our tomatoes and our peppers so that's an important thing cilantro another awesome companion to tomatoes. Other awesome companions while we're talking about them are carrots. So if you've got a row of tomatoes planted in your garden, interplanting them with carrots is a great thing to do. Um, and any other kind of aromatic herbs are awesome companions to tomatoes. Mint is an especially good one. It's a kind of an odd combo, but a really good one. Okay, so I've got my cilantro. I'm going to stick it right in, mm, sort of right in between. A little more toward the pepper, I'm going to say. And I've got one more addition in here, just for fun. Okay, that's in there. And then, because planters should be pretty, I've got a begonia, because why not? Salsa's red, I want it to be pretty. I'm gonna pop it in right here beside my cilantro, just because you can mix food and flowers, why not? Begonia flowers are actually edible, so if you're harvesting for salad or something and you wanted a bit of beauty on top of it, you could pick some begonia flowers and stick them in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna finish off by tucking this in. Isn't that cute? So there we go. I've got a complete salsa garden in a pot. I can put it anywhere I have full sun. What does full sun mean? Full sun is six or more hours of sun a day. So when it comes to this combination, onions, cilantro, peppers, tomatoes, these are you know your Mediterranean sun loving plants. So we want as much sun as possible. So I'm gonna put it on my back deck where it's got a good 10 hours of solid sun per day and I'm going to see amazing results from that. I will use my bamboo stick. I'm gonna put it right beside my tomato being careful not to mess up that root system and all the way down to the bottom to make it sure it's nice and secure so as this grows i will systematically attach it i'll just tie it with twine as it as it grows up and up to support the tomato in its upright growth and make sure it doesn't get knocked down by any wind 
um, and we'll be good to go. Let's talk care and maintenance. Um, as opposed to in-ground gardens that as the plants mature will require um, fewer waterings in between because we've got that moisture way deep down in the soil that the ro roots are reaching for. In a container, we've got a limited volume of soil and the plants are only going to get bigger and bigger with more needs and more of a root system. So watering is critical with uh, container gardens. So in those hot days, especially like I said, I've got this on a sunny back deck, it's going to need water daily. Um, so paying careful attention to how your plants are looking, making sure that soil is, is moist is a good thing. And the other part of that as well is fertilization. So again, we've got that limited volume of soil in the container, which means um, the more we water it, the more the nutrients are going to wash away out of that soil. Anything that's not immediately used by the plant is gonna be run off in the, in the water. So feeding regularly is really important to keep them healthy and thriving. In this container, I'm going to use my Nature's Care tomato, tomato urban veg, I think it's called, uh, plant food. So follow the directions on the bag. I, I, right now I'm just gonna sprinkle a couple teaspoons worth on top and water it in well, and we'll be good to rock and roll. So I'll update you uh, maybe a month from now to show you what's going on with my salsa garden. And in the meantime, pop into the link in the bio to see the veg truck video and our blog on the website. So if you go to Gardening 101 on tarotgreenhouses.com, we've got other helpful articles for you there. So thank you very much for joining us. Let me know what you're growing in the comments. I want to see and uh, have a great sunny Sunday. Take care. <laughs>